All right, welcome back to the Robin Center. Robert Fish here with Spider Coach Aaron Roussel after this big win over St. Bonaventure in overtime. And uh, Coach, uh, really in that second half, a kind of a rock fight almost defensively. You guys were slugging it out. Both teams solid defensively today, making the other team work quite a bit for shots. And it looks like uh, at the end of things, you found just enough to get done there in that overtime set. Yeah, that, that, that pretty well sums it up. You know, I know it wasn't the cleanest game, but I think obviously as you go through the course of the season and um, you know, as we try to learn how to finish games and learn how to win games, it's, you, you have to you have to find a way to win some of those. You know, and maybe for a stretch there, it looked like we were trying to find a way to lose the game. Uh, but proud of our, our kids, uh, we kind of probably were back on our heels there at the end of the hat or end of the game. Um, maybe I think that really did kind of linger into the start of overtime. And I, I kind of felt we just had to get that first bucket. I felt like if we got that first bucket, we could make a little bit of a run. And we're able to do that and, and kind of built that six point lead. And then it was kind of like, uh, oh, here we go again. We're giving them the easiest thing that we can give them. But I thought overall our defense was really good. You know, I think we, we made some mistakes that got them some easy baskets. The, the one up three, you feel so helpless on the sideline because you know it, you know it's coming. You see it coming. You're screaming it, and you know it's just it, it's a slow moving thing that you can't can't get out of the way. But aside from that, I mean, I, you held the team to shooting 33 percent, and I thought that was pretty good. I thought offensively, we, we got a lot of easy baskets. I thought going five for 24, you know, sometimes that's going to happen. But I, I was probably more most disappointed with the 24. I, I just think we're getting into that trap that we're taking way way too many threes and. Um, that, that's not us, you know. I think we'll get to that point as, as we get better from the arc. But right now, we, we gotta we gotta shoot the ball. We gotta take the easy ones. And I thought, you know, for a stretch there in the fourth quarter, we were shooting 70% from two and about 15% from three. And we, we have to understand the game flow of what's available, what's going well that night. And uh, but that'll come. What's good, of course, uh, a lot of performances tonight. Uh, Claire Holt and Jade Hines Clark, even with her foul trouble, still contributing. And you know, Elena Chapman gets 10 points and 10 rebounds coming into the contest. So her minutes very significant, obviously, with those 10 rebounds, but four assists to go along with it, a couple of block shots, and just uh, big minutes from her today. Obviously. And in which she had four steals. You yeah. know, some of those were huge. You know, diving on the floor there, that kind of gave us that stretch uh, at the end. Um, you know, kind of got the run out where I know we, didn't, we weren't able to capitalize on it, but up six to get a steal, uh, which she had. And then but she had some great takes. You know, that, that one drive to her left in the in the first half, she finished left uh, going away, got the free throw line a couple times going over that right shoulder. and. She's building, man. I mean, she, she really is going to be a really good player for us and excited to have her, and I thought this was a great performance for her today. Yeah, so she picked up big numbers, obviously, in that performance, and you mentioned that drive to the bucket. Now, we go back and, and take a look at uh, – a couple of series toward the end. Did you get the shot you wanted with Jade? You had a tough angle under the basket there. You, you know, I think to be honest with you, that was just a little bit of two things. You know, obviously with, with women's basketball, you got to be careful about taking that shot too quickly. You know, right. and I think that was something there that you don't want to be back on your heels, but sometimes you feel like you have the ball late at the end of a tie game, and, and all of a sudden you you go for a shot, and all of a sudden you leave too much time on the clock, and, and now they're in the driver's seat. Now this so one, this one worked. This one worked out yeah. great. You know, I think there was a little bit right there. Where you're trying to figure out: Are you going to take the timeout? I didn't want to take the timeout because you want to save that for the end of the game. And to be honest with you, I thought we we got them reeling for the. You know, I know we scored at the end of the clock right there, but I thought we got them moving, and I thought something good was going to happen at the end of regulation. That was kind of get the ball in Alex's hand. You figured they were going to ice the ball screen the way that they did, and then it was just, hey, Alex, get the ball to the middle of the floor and make something happen. And I thought she did that. Um, you know, unfortunately for us, we weren't able to capitalize on the layup and the. At the end of regulation, uh, but we were able to get it back there at the end of overtime. Now, as we talked about, you, know, you get the win, obviously very important. You're coming off that UMass game where it was tied at 31 in the third quarter. So how important was it to be able to, to obviously get a win today, but in, in just coming back after that game and picking up a win yeah, like this? Yeah, and, and, and again, that was a tough stretch. You know, Obviously, to, to have three games in seven days, that's always tough on a team to, to have to go on the road. And you don't want to make excuses, but I really thought we were playing well up until, uh, up until that UMass game. And, and even stretches of that game we did. I sense we were getting a little bit tired at the end of that run, and I thought we bounced back with two solid practices the last couple of days. And, you know, all of a sudden, you know, we talked about our kids about not looking back and not looking too far forward, but here we are. You know, we're, we're getting better. You, you win three out of four in the conference, and, you know, I think we're definitely trending upward um, with a big game coming in here on Wednesday. Yep, second shot at VCU Wednesday night. So looking Yeah, forward looking to forward one, sure. to it, you know. <laughs> and, and, again, they're, they're a really, really good team. You feel like maybe you had a, a chance there uh, at their place. And, 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 again, a really good game. And, you know, you can look back and say either team could have won that one. Um, they're going to be ready for us. Obviously, we schemed some things that I think they're going to prepare for a little differently. Um, but I like the way that we're playing overall. And when we play well together, we didn't even knock shots down today. And I thought we still were able to find a way to win. I think that, was, that's a, that shows a lot of growth for this dream.
you got a guest waiting on you over there, yeah, so we're going to let you get going. Not the most patient <laughs> either. Hi, sweetheart. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. We'll see you on Wednesday night. All right, thank you, my friend. All right, that's uh, Aaron Russell along with us here on uh, courtside. So as we uh, wrap this one up for you, we'll uh, take a break and uh, get back to some other basketball coming up on Wednesday. But your final today is overtime and a big win, 63-59. to 59. As the Spiders come up with the victory, we're going to bring uh, Elena Chapman in to sit down and visit with us. So let's have her come in and have a seat. And we'll talk to her for just a second as uh, Elena will sit down and uh, put the headset on and we'll get uh, an opportunity to chat with her uh, as she makes her way over here with the crowd still uh, meeting everyone. And we'll get uh, Elena to put that headset on and she'll get her first opportunity to do this. And uh, Elena, first of all, congratulations. A great win for you guys today. It looked like things were going really well out there, uh, but it was a tough game. Obviously, it looked like it was a real tough defensive yeah, really contest did. today. It was. We just really had to keep calm and learn our de defensive principles and just trust ourselves and trust each other to communicate and get through when we did lose our man that someone else was going to help us out with that. What was key for you today? You were able to get uh, 10 rebounds in the contest and, and 10 points, so you had the double-double today. Those rebounds were really uh, key times on the defensive end, too. I just had to know how to hustle a lot. The hustle plays is what I'm really good at. So I had to bring intensity to the team. Um, scoring's not a big deal to me. So I just knew get the rebounds, hustle, do all the dirty work, and my team would handle the rest. And you talked about the hustle plays. You were on the floor a couple times, diving for loose balls, picking up steals, blocking shots, all that uh, an integral part of today's game, certainly for you, it looked like. How are you, how are you adjusting to... You know, I know you probably played a lot of AAU and travel ball, but how are you adjusting to the college game and the, and the challenges? And maybe not on the game, but what other things you have to manage while you're in college, too? I'm definitely adjusting to the pace of the game. Um, it's a really quick pace at this level. And just being disciplined and staying calm even when things are going wrong. Just got to keep my head on my shoulders and just keep going and trusting my teammates. You excited for another match with VCU on Wednesday? Get a second shot at them, maybe? Yes, I'm very excited for that one. All right, thanks, Elena. We appreciate it. Good job today. Congratulations. A big win for the Spiders today with, uh, again, that final in overtime of Richmond pulling this one out by the margin of 63 to 59. So uh, we'll say so long for now from the Robin Center and look forward to visiting with you Wednesday night when VCU comes to town at 630. Until then, uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and whenever you may be watching us here on richmondspiders.com and we'll visit with you again soon.